Hi friends, Angelica here. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be putting together this really pretty card using a few products from the greetery. We've had some pretty rainy days up here in the Pacific Northwest, so while I was stuck inside the house, I sat down at my craft table and put together these really bright strawberries. I turned on my camera so I could share my process with you. So let's get started. Here's a quick look at the Greeteries Botanic Huts Strawberries die. Now, I, I don't cut my Botanic Huts dies apart. I keep them just all together. There's some pretty small pieces, especially in this die set. I've already die cut several strawberries um, off screen, and I'm going to be inking them with Distress Oxide inks. I have some finger daubers ready to go. I did put on some latex gloves so I don't have um, stained fingers when I'm done with this project because I'm going to be using lots of ink. And I am using a silicone mat. Uh, this has a really nice um, surface to it so it just grips the cardstock so I don't have to worry too much about these little pieces um, moving around when I'm trying to ink them. I'm going to be inking on screen one strawberry bunch starting with the leaves and I picked three greens to ink the leaves with. I wanted a super bright um, green for a highlight and then also a dark green to have towards the middle of the strawberry bunch. Now I picked uh, Twisted Citron for my bright green and Rustic Wilderness for the dark green but those they're such difference in color. I did bring in the third color mode lawn just to kind of even out the um, super bright from the super dark. Now for the strawberries, I did start off with Twisted Citron, just for a little pop of green at the top of the strawberries. And then I'm using Barn Door and Aged Mahogany for the two colors um, for the strawberry. Barn Door is super bright, beautiful red, and the Aged Mahogany is just going to give a little depth to uh, the strawberries. To put the strawberries together, I'm going to be using the enclosed um, in instruction guide to know exactly where the strawberries go on the stems. And I am using liquid glue, uh, just a little bit of liquid glue to glue the pieces together. I use art glitter glue, which is a super strong um, glue. It does dry really fast. And it's really thin, so I keep it in this bottle with a needle point top so I can really control where the glue goes.
for the leaves. I'm just adding a little bit of glue at the end of the leaves because I'm going to be popping up the outside of the leaves with thin foam squares just to give a little bit of dimension to the uh, strawberry bunches. For the background, I'm blending Tumbled Glass um, and Mermaid Lagoon Distress Oxide inks onto Bristol Smooth paper. I love using Bristol Smooth for ink blending, especially the oxide inks. Just It just blends beautifully, and when it dries, when the ink dries, it just has a, a gorgeous chalk finish to it. I did start with tumbled glass first and you're going to see me, I'm going to move the strawberries onto the paper a couple times. I just want to compare how the red looks to this really light background, which it really, it's really pretty. I can see it right now and uh, I really liked it, but I like um, pretty dramatic colors on my cards. So I did decide to bring in the Mermaid Lagoon just for an extra pop of color. Now I'm blending on um, a panel that's a little larger than my four and a quarter by five and a half card base that I'm going to be using. And that's because when I'm ink blending a background, I do like to trim the edges when I'm done because I want to get that um, darker line that's right on the edge off. So it's just a really pretty smooth surface. If I'm using the same color family to ink blend, I don't really clean my surface when I'm going from light to dark, but I will clean the surface when I'm going from dark back to light because I don't want to contaminate my ink pad or my blending tool. And to finish the strawberry bunches, I'm now adding the little white blossoms. This die is part of the strawberry set. So I just positioned them really quickly to make sure I like the layout. And now I am gluing them. Just a small dot of glue, lifting them up with my little embellishment tool. And I want a yellow dot inside each blossom. So I have three Copic markers out. I have Y00, Y000 and then my colorless blender. Um, I, and I worked from dark to the colorless blender, which pretty much colored the whole blossoms with the blender just to make that paper wet so the yellows can kind of blend out on their own. For the sentiment, I'm gonna use Opposites Attract hot foil plate and the coordinating die to make the word hello. Now the die um, is closed, so 
If you don't cut the hot foil words or the dies apart, you can see that they do sit on top or the die sits on top of the words perfectly. So I left those uncut to die cut um, all, and I did all the words. So I have the other words tucked away for future use. And now I'm gonna be putting the card on the card base. So I'm using double-sided adhesive and this is how I put my cards on. All of my card bases, I take off the middle piece, make sure it's aligned before I take the backing off the um, the rest of the uh, double-sided adhesive. That way I'm just, I'm not committed to that position. I still have a little bit of time to move the card base if I put it on a little crooked. And to finish the card, I'm just adding a little bit of glue to the back of the sentiment and carefully attaching that to the card base. Again, making sure I'm not activating or reactivating any of the ink. And that's going to finish today's card. I just love how bright and cheerful this card turned out. The bright strawberries were so fun to put together. That's all that I have for today. I want to thank you so much for stopping by. If you liked what you saw, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more, be sure to subscribe before you leave. I will be back shortly with another video. So I'll see you then. Bye.